All right. Are the five people that you're hanging out with most moving you closer to your goals or deterring you away? The people that you spend the most time with. So check your phone, look at your calendar, look at your messages, look at your call log, right? Look at your inbox, look at your DMs. Who are you communicating with the most, right? You are the average of the five people that you hang out with most. Even if you might not see them in person as much right now, communicating with them, connecting with them, sharing thoughts, ideas, all that stuff. You are the average of them. And one of the things that I talk about a lot when I work with gals is really understanding that it's not that these are bad people at all or anything like that. It has nothing to do with them. But if you have very specific health goals, are you around people that are going to help you keep moving towards your health goals? Are you around a group, a community that is going to keep you moving forward? that is gonna support you when things get tough, that are gonna help set you up for success. Your environment plays a huge role in how successful you are with, with anything, right? So this is something that we dive into. And if you are interested in knowing what the biggest mistakes are when women try to tackle weight loss, I want you to go in the comments, get on this wait list, for the next Female Hormone Solution program, and I'm doing a absolutely free masterclass next Tuesday, 7.30 Central, deep diving into all this information. You get free access to this masterclass by being on the wait list. I'm gonna cover a ton of stuff. It's I love doing this, and then I do a Q&A at the end. So if you've got specific questions, if you want to tackle something then live with me, that's the place to do it during that masterclass. But when we look at this and five people, right, one of the things that I like to um, just just bring into your awareness, just just bring into your, you know, uh, uh, top of mind for you, yes, um, is are people around you supportive of what you're going through? One of the biggest things that can be so tough for gals to go through is that if you are struggling with something that maybe somebody else isn't struggling with, or maybe they were like, Oh yeah, I had that, and then I did this, and then it's all better. But that doesn't work for you. So then what? <sighs> I'm going to take headaches as an example. Headaches are a really common thing for uh, women to suffer from. Uh, pain conditions in general, and they're not taken as seriously when they go in to try and get a resolution to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but say you suffer from headaches. And you have a friend that had headaches as well. And she's like, oh my gosh, I started drinking more water or I started doing this thing. I started taking the supplement. It totally took care of my headaches, nipped them in the bud. Great. But if you try these things and they don't work for you, does that mean you did it wrong? No. Does that mean that you didn't really do it at all? No. It means that whatever caused your headaches, and there can be over 300 different reasons why you would have a headache. It's a long list. But if that doesn't happen to be the thing that you were missing, you know, maybe she gets headaches when she's dehydrated. Okay, that would make sense. That if she drinks water and stays hydrated, she's not going to get a headache. But that's not why you're getting headaches. Maybe you get headaches because of tension. Maybe you're getting headaches because of a toxic overload in your system. Maybe you're getting headaches at a certain time of the month because a hormone fluctuation has nothing to do with hydration. So the recommendations for her are not going to be helpful for you. But is this person supportive of you in what you're going through, right? Is this person supportive of you? That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing to look at. So you're looking for, with these five people that you're around most, you want to look for the right support. And even if they don't experience what you experience, are they still supportive of you? So this gal, even if she's like, well, I don't know, you know, uh, fix my headaches. Maybe you just need more water then. Maybe you're really not doing enough. Maybe that's not helpful. <laughs> Maybe that's not helpful. <laughs> or is she like, oh my gosh, there must be something going on. I totally understand how awful it is to have a headache. You know, okay, that sucks. What can I do to help? How can I, how can I support you? You know, that's helpful. Another, uh, so any type of support. Do they have similar goals? This is a big thing too, and kind of tough. And again, in the, um, so as a women's health expert, right? And I'm gonna show you, I have books on, these are my two, I don't know why they're down there. 
I have books. Uh, a couple of my books, Female Fat Solution, Female Menopause Solution, talking about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. Lots of great information. These are on Amazon. But one of the biggest things that we struggle with is if you have different goals than somebody else, you might really be frustrated with how fast you can achieve them, how likely you are to keep them, um, and the results that you, that you achieve. Um, for example, say you're trying to um, you know, eat cleaner, be healthier, and you will go out to happy hours with girlfriends and you know, do things like that pretty frequently, and you know, have a drink when you're there. Right, you have a drink, you know, at least once a week, and you're like, you know, I want to cut that stuff out. I'm doing a liver detox. I'm really working with my hormones, so I'm going to stop drinking for a little bit. Um, are they supportive of that goal for you? Are they like, oh, oh my gosh, yes, I've done that. Yes, let's have mocktails. Let's whatever. Are they like, oh come on, one drink isn't isn't a big deal? If they don't have the same goal and they're not super supportive, it can be really really tough to keep going. That's going to impact your results. That's going to impact how fast you go through things. Um, do we talk about boundaries and all these other things? Yes. <laughs> but it's also important to realize that the people that are around you are around you for a reason. And then also, you can ask them to be supportive of you. You can ask them to help guide you in your goals. Be like, hey, I know we go out, but I really want to not drink for about 30 days. Can you help support me? I'm going to need help with that. Okay. Right? But are these, are these, is the support and the goals that you have similar enough that they would be able to support you? I'm spending this much time talking about it because sometimes it's right in front of your face and you don't even see it. It is right there and it doesn't even recognize to you that, oh, oh, this person really is not a supportive person for me. This person has completely different goals than what I have. So it doesn't make sense to have them be one of my close five people that is around me, right? This is your circle. This is your support group, right? That keeps you moving forward when things get tough or help you get back on track if you feel like you've gotten off track. And if these people are not on the same wavelength as you on health, it can be really tough to keep going or you can feel like you can't share these things with them, share these experiences and keep moving forward. In fact, they've done studies in terms of weight loss with women. So I'm not saying this just to be like, hey, let's have a fun thing to talk about. No. They've done studies where weight loss with women where they take a, a small group of women, you know, about five gals, tight, close-knit group of friends, and if one of those women wants to lose weight and starts to lose weight, there is a threshold level of weight loss she will have before she will either, you know, not be friends with those people anymore or quit. And more often than not, they find that she quits her own health journey to rejoin her friends because those friends then were not necessarily as supportive of her. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is a thing. They've done, they've done studies on this. So I bring it up to be like, if you've experienced this, if this is something where you've noticed this, it's important to acknowledge and then also surround yourself with people. There are tons of communities out there of people, of women, who have similar goals as you and want to support you. Get in connection with those gals. And this is what we do. Again, this is why I have a group program. These gals, they communicate with each other. They support each other. It's nice to have another group where you're like, oh my gosh, yes, I'm experiencing that too. I've had horrible hormone issues too. I've been struggling you know, since I was a teenager, they put me on birth control really young because my periods were really bad. And I've been on birth control for two decades and now I don't know why my hormones are all over control. Yeah. There's other gals that have the same issues that you will meet and connect with. That's why I love doing this group program. It helps you stay on the right path. This is one of the reasons why the gals that do the Female Hormone Solution Program get such amazing results. It's because of the group. It's because of the community. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's other um, things that, you know, kind of struck a chord with you here. But I would love to talk about these things. Yes. Um, and other resources I have for you. My YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to stay updated on that. My podcast is called The Female Health Solution. Um, so you can subscribe to listen to all the podcasts that I have. And then other resources I have for you are my tinctures, 
Um, for hormones, estro balance, this one is for estrogen, taking, uh, taking it days 1 through 14 of your cycle. And this one is progesterone balance. Uh, for progesterone, taking days 15 through 28 of your cycle. They go hand in hand together like seed cycling. So, yes. All right. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Let me know if you, um, you know, if this struck a chord for you or you need any other guidance. But again, do not forget that masterclass that I have next Tuesday night talking about the biggest mistakes women make in weight loss. And again, just get on that wait list and you will get access to that free masterclass. All right. Have a great rest of your night, you guys.